okay um and then they will draw and um and they will uh, they will draw what they see and in these where i when i write here um, learn the teacher's diary is very important because uh, every time i see um every every time we go to the garden it takes it it happens something interesting and i usually try after the the class i make a little i have my own diary where i write down how it uh, to reflect a little bit how it was what did they learn what did they like um and this is uh, is important because uh, this is a way that i can reflect about uh, myself about uh, um how i can improve um in the way that um, that it's going uh, that they learn more or that they enjoy more the class and that the things uh, go in uh, the best uh, the best way so always in the end of the class it's good to make um to make a, a a little diary about what's going on and it's in this way that i have some stories to tell you so here you can see uh yeah, they have a this uh, boy he has a leaf and he's drawing this leaf and it's in this moment that we have a dialogue like uh he will uh, draw the leaf and i will ask if um i will see i will come and i will observe if the if the leaf is a uh, if he's doing what he what he sees or if he's drawing what he imagined so i i'm the questions i do it's about uh, always bringing uh, the the kid to the um, the pupil to the to what he observes uh, if uh, if the, the the size of the leaf the um, i don't know this name in english the these lines the nervuras these lines of the of the leaf and and if the first uh, draw it's very far away from what he is uh, from the what he's observing then i ask him to do again another one that it's more close to what he's observing and like this he's observing more and more about the the uh, what he's seeing okay <clears throat> it's um it's uh, what it's very important this um, to make this uh, diary about what they are what they are doing uh, i will i try always to take um, when i have a colleague i was i had a colleague working with me her name is elsa and sometimes we would meet together at uh, at the garden and we would uh, uh, take pictures because of that i have some pictures uh, we would take pictures of each other or of the kids because usually if i'm work with them i'm working with them i don't have time to take pictures so it's always important to to do this if you are trying to to implement this in your garden it's very important to to have someone sometimes that goes there and helps you taking pictures and uh, where you write your notes and that you have time to to yeah to reflect with this someone about the about what's going on um something that you see that they are drawing i have uh, something called field books it's also provided by the, by our school we buy these field books and they 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 draw in this field book so sometimes i just collect all the field books and then i i'm looking to the field books and i see if they are doing what i was um, what i was planning imagine i i ask them to to draw a flower and i want them to observe the some parts of the flower so in the end when i see the all the field books that about what they were drawing um i can uh, see and reflect it i can see if they were really uh, learning about this part of the flower that i wanted them to observe uh, if they were paying attention of that or not and if i can change my uh, my task next time so this is uh, is important uh, another thing uh, it's that sometimes i speak with the teacher the class teacher in the way that we can um, work together if the class teacher uh, is um, 
like in that time that we were uh, speaking about the flowers and the sexual structure of the flower and the teacher was speaking about uh, about this at the class so uh, she told me that and then I when I went to the garden we were picking the flowers we were observing the flowers in the binocular loops and they were drawing so this is a, a compliment with the class teacher because she was already teaching them this so it was very easy without that I tell them anything they were observing and and they already um, they were already very sensitive for what they were seeing when they were saw it in the binocular loop they were like ah oh, ah this is what the teacher said or, yeah it's very easy then that they connect with what they learn inside of the class they connect what they see uh, in the garden Okay, um, I have here some, some stories that it's easier for you to understand uh, how, I, how I do it. So, um, my plan, um, it was to plant green beans. So, this, uh, this task was about planting uh, green beans. And uh, we wanted to, I wanted to plant it with, uh, with strawberries. Uh, so one of the things that I start to um, to speak with the kids, if uh, let's see if the if the strawberries um, and the green beans, if they can go together. And so we had a little. Um, we were speaking about this for some time, as I was asking, do you think that they they would like to be with each other, uh, planted in the same area? Uh, and then uh, I, we started to think about this. Uh, if uh, what the strawberry is like, ah, yeah, they like lots of sun and they also like water and the green beans as well. So in the end, we found out that green beans and uh, strawberries, they, they, had, um, they both have the same needs for sun and water. So they could be companions, they could, they could be together. So after we speak this, um, we, we, we went for the next step that it was to planting them. So first, uh, I plan, I, what I planned to do at home, it was only about what I want to plant. It's green beans and strawberries. And so I have already an idea about the dialogue that I want to do with my students. <laughs> So this is what I was just telling you. I, I said, I, how did I do it? I, I was speaking with the students about light, humidity, uh, <clears throat> that we needed for, for both. And, um, and after we discussed this, uh, we, 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 were, we were sure that we could plan them together. So we, start, we went to the next step. So when they go, when they, when they go to the to the to the garden and they start then to plant them they already they already know a lot because we were speaking they already know a lot about the two plants they already have uh, discussed about both they were looking so it was easy so we were planting green beans and and strawberries very close to each other so the next uh, the the next moment after this it was to to draw and uh, Sometimes the teachers, they ask me, okay, but how do you go from the moment that they work until the moment that you start to, how do you do that they start to draw? What do you, how do you, how do you ask them to do this? And usually I, what I ask is to let's uh, represent or let's um, have a uh, right, let's have a representation, representation, representation in your, in your book. Um, and so um, I give them material so some I have to give them sometimes um, clear tasks like um, let's draw them um, the activity let's draw the, the the strawberries and the green beans that you just put on the on the garden um, or sometimes I say, just draw the uh, draw the plant itself. <clears throat> um, but uh, it's important to have a clear task that they know what's, uh, what I'm what I'm asking for. 
So in this case, they were drawing the bed uh, where they plant the, the, um, the strawberries and the green beans and they were some they were draw, drawing the, um, the leaves and the plant itself. So here you can see uh, it's very simple, uh, simple drawings, but uh, it shows, yeah, it shows that they they are with attention what they are doing because you can see that uh, they they see the difference between the two the two plants. Sorry, I have here. okay. Um, Oh, again, the, the question that I, I already spoke about this, but it, what, what do I do while they are drawing? So while they are drawing, I'm just uh, asking questions in a way that they observe um, deeper, observe better, or they uh, give more time to the observation that they are doing. Uh, <clears throat> in this picture, you can see these girls, they are... Um, looking they are drawing in uh, in the in the garden itself they are looking and they are drawing at the same time they 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 feel that they they needed to go to do this sometimes they just want to sit um a little some meters away but in this case they are really drawing what they see and uh, sometimes they some they they just sit and they go there and then they come back because they have all the materials in the in the table so yeah, it's uh, it's interesting because they have a mental idea about uh, what they see, and they have to confirm if the mental idea that they have it's what they are seeing. And this is to de develop the, ob the observation that it's so important in sciences. <clears throat> so um, it's this. I, I I try to interact with with them. Uh, individually, so I'm, I'm going around, uh, staying a little bit with each one of them and asking questions. I never say it's beautiful or it's... I don't uh, make any kind of... Um, uh, kind of... Um, yeah, let's say... I don't know, so in English it's like... Evaluation um, I don't something. Like uh? evaluation. evaluation. Yeah, yeah, without evaluation. Oh, it's beautiful, it's well, or it's well done. No, 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 it's just question is this uh, is this uh, the representing this little bit yeah it's always po pointing very um object it's very objective my question so i was in this ca in this case i was asking about the the um, yeah the shape the size the color it's always these questions it's a very this is very important because well, we I, teach I, I'm sorry, See? I don't know if you have um, uh, more slides because we have three minutes and... Uh, ah, okay, so I will go quicker. We okay. can do a Just second to... webinar if you have uh, more about this, it's very interesting. No, I think we are nearly in the end. Okay, okay. Just to only... Okay, sorry, I was not paying attention on time. So it's uh, very important this because we teachers are very trained to evaluate all the time and if we do this, then they will not. Uh, they, they will try to answer to us instead of ans uh, answering to the to the need of the good representation of the representation of that they see. So this is very important that we are objective in these uh, observations. So um, this that I have here, <clears throat> it's more about how can I how how sh how, sh how do I support my activity, and um, yeah, but this is. Um, it's more like uh, at home. I I I think about uh, and I, as a science teacher, as we all in science, what we we think about what kind of things we want them to to pay attention. And so things so so simple like these uh, uh, that the what what do the plants need? Light, water, nutrients. How fast do they grow? Um, I can sometimes go to a plant and anatomy, but usually not so far. And the competencies that I usually, I always think, okay, in this time, what do I want them to, which competencies I, I want them to, to develop? Usually it's observation or to measure things, areas, or um, planning, decision-making. It's very important they have to plan uh, how do they go to work when they are planting or working in the garden. 
Um, I explore some ideas. So I have a previous work that I do at home that it's very close to this that I show you here. Um, and I each time that I plan an activity uh, behind this simple activity, there are many things behind as usually we do it at, uh, at our classes. Okay. Uh, I think this is... Maybe, uh, yeah, thank you, Pauli. Maybe we can do like a second webinar, just tips to the teachers that they can implement this, how to implement this, because you have a lot of material for you is easier, I think. So we saw what you do. Now, how can we do it? Like, I have this question. Yes, yes. yes. This, uh, if I don't yeah, have it, we... can I do with pots or something, just uh, small pots? Or can I do in the classroom yes. with... So maybe we don't have time in this moment, but yeah. maybe we can do a second webinar, just tips for the teachers, how to do it, how to how to not evaluate and evaluate at the same time. Yes, um, what I tried here to do, it's just that you that you see the steps that are that we are needed to go to the garden and what's behind.